while in Tel Aviv, local and international tourists prepared for a weekend of Eurovision extravaganza. A very different crowd was heading to northern Israel. Approximately a two-hour drive away from the city that never sleeps, in the biblical landscapes of the Sea of Galilee, a very unique festival is about to kick off. The Jacob's Ladder Music Festival, the longest running music festival in Israel. First of all, it's a lovely atmosphere, really quite a festive atmosphere indeed. Um, there's a variety of music, especially from the folk, uh, rock, bluegrass, etc. Uh, many different styles. And it's just uh, three days of just feeling abroad in Israel. Since 1978, the festival has been responsible for promoting folk music in Israel and has become a tradition for many families. This is going to be our 13th year that we came to the festival. Uh, we came here with no kids and we came every, every year since there uh, with our kids. So the kids just grow into the festival. So I think the festival is part of their childhood. They wait for this every year. They ask, is it uh, coming soon? Is it coming soon? Uh, and it's a family tradition for me also. I used to come here as a child with my parents. Founders Yehudit and Menachem Weingrad arrived in Israel in 1967. Inspired by the socialist secular youth movements they belong to, the festival first began in the collective community of Kibbutz Machanaim in the late 70s, where the founders once lived. 43 years ago. Why? Because we wanted uh, music that we, uh, we heard when we were in England. In the, uh, we used to sing songs in the youth movement in Habonim and, and uh, folk songs from the time, Pete Seeger, Joan Baez, uh, Bob Dylan, and uh, we wanted to create something like that here. Throughout the years, the festival has moved around until finding a definite home in Nof Ginosar in 2003. Jacob's Ladder also has the reputation of being one of the biggest gatherings of native English speakers in the Holy Land. Menachem Weingrad did not feel threatened at all by the Eurovision celebrations taking place at the same time. Real things, not plastic things. Real roots, real honest music. Everything that the Eurovision doesn't have. Hard work pays off. The festival has also become biannual due to the high demand of music lovers that draws crowds of up to 3,000 people for a weekend of folk music by international and local artists while keeping the atmosphere of friendship, diversity, and good vibes alive.